welcome to this lecture in this lecture we'll have an introduction to django framework now let's understand what is django framework django is an extremely popular and fully featured server side web framework which is written in python language it's a high level web framework that enables rapid development of secure and maintainable websites this follows the model view template also called as mvt architectural pattern regarding this we will be talking about later in this lecture django framework is maintained by django software foundation that is dsf which is an independent organization established in the united states django originated in 2003 as an internal project which was initiated by uh, the two programmers that is adrian holoverdi and simon willison the first version of django was released in july 2005 now let's have a look at the mvt architecture that stands for model view and template so these are the three important components in this let's understand one by one what exactly these are first one is a model this component defines the data structure of your application this also helps in simplifying the interaction with the database so you can create classes in a model you can create a class that will help you to create tables and fields for your database then you have the view views are generally the python functions and you can also create them as classes these receive http requests and return http responses then you have the template template is nothing but an html file which is mixed with some kind of syntax that is used in django also called as the django template language so this allows you to dynamically generate content based on the data that is sent from the view consider this example right now where you can imagine a user is trying to interact with the django framework let's say the user is requesting for a resource for this purpose we are having a url dispatcher within the django framework so if the url maps whatever is being requested by the user if that url maps a view is called which is further interacting with the model and the template as a result the django framework will respond back to the user as a response and will show the template to the user which is an html file itself you also have a model here which is interacting with the data and it helps for simplifying the interaction with your database so if some data is required by the django framework the model can easily interact with the view and show the desired template to the user that consists of that data apart from model view template and the url dispatcher we do have other important components in django that include admin interface forms authentication and authorization so when we talk about the admin interface django provides an automatic admin interface based on the application's model so this allows the administrators to manage and update the data without creating custom views or interfaces so you really don't have to create an admin interface yourself because django is already providing you that further you have forms django simplifies the process of handling user input and data validation through its form handling system so this allows you to define forms in python and handle the form submissions easily further you have authentication and authorization so django comes with built in tools for user authentication permissions session management which helps you to implement the secure user based functionality let's now try to understand the advantages of django the first one is batteries included approach now what exactly it means 
There are built-in features and libraries in Django such that you don't need external packages for very common tasks. So it includes ORM that is Object Relational Mapper, Admin Panel and Authentication. Next is Security. Django has robust built-in security features that prevents attacks such as SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Next advantage is scalability. Django scales well from small to large applications and also helps in handling significant traffic while using the websites. The next advantage is community and documentation. Django contributes to its development and provides extensive documentation and tutorials. So if you are a beginner, it will help you to learn Django. And if you are an experienced developer, it will help you to find the solutions to your problems. The further advantage is maintainability and reusability. In Django, there is a concept called as dry or DRY, also called as don't repeat yourself. So this dry principle makes your code maintainable and reusable. The next advantage is admin interface, which we already have discussed. This provides solution for administrators to perform CRUD operations. That is create, read, delete and update operations on the models. In the next lecture, we'll learn to install Python and Django.